Hey guys, I wanted to take you through a day in my life as a master's student here on Guam. So I usually start off in the morning with a little bit of exercise and today I decided to go on a short run which ended up being super pretty because sunrise is just always gorgeous here. I did a little bit of stretching and a little bit of core before making some breakfast because I had a big day of work ahead with both field work and lab work. I ended up not having time to drink my coffee so I brought it in the car with me and proceeded to spill lots of it on myself because there are so many freaking potholes here. Once we got to the marine lab, I was able to gather up all the supplies we needed for field work today, which included measuring out some scuba tanks. In the field, we were going to be collecting two types of Acropra coral samples, which I'll later be genotyping in the lab to try and figure out what the population genetics of Acropra species are across Guam. This was actually my first day doing scuba diving field work with the lab because I only just got certified. So I was super excited to head out with the Raymundo Coral Lab team. Claire helped me with my work today. She is a master with the clippers and she would clip off sections of the coral and hand them to me. I would then make tags for them so we knew which coral they were and put the corals in a bag so that later on when we were back in the lab we could get a morphology sample and a genetic sample. We also take photos of the coral fragments and the corals themselves so that we can put all of that information back into a database. We did our field work at the nursery site here in Guam where they're trying to restore corals back to full health. Once we got back to the lab, I spent some time setting up for coral pickling. We would take one of the samples of corals, record the tag number, and then go ahead and chop up quite a bit of the coral and put it in a preservative so that it could be used later on for genetics. The portion that we didn't chop up for genetics, we would put in bleach and it sits around for a week or two and then later on it gets stored in our school's biorepository so that there is a genetic sample of the coral and a morphology sample. After I made sure all the labels were correct for the samples, I put them in a container so that they could be deep frozen because I won't be getting around to sequencing those samples for a while. After a long day, I went home and I decided to have soup. <laughs> Good soup. And then I went on another run because it's been super rainy lately and so the past couple of days I haven't gotten to go running so today was just a two running kind of day. After a slightly less than normal sunset I went over to a friend's house, played some cards, just roll the night like a fog of July Cause baby you're a Come on, just roll Had the typical dance party in the car on the way home and called it a night.